Grand rising, everybody. Grand rising. I just got to say, I'm very grateful that my mind has to be, my mind was opened up to new information today because my perspective on things just really just uh, expanded. So as a people pleaser, it's not always bad that you are a people pleaser and it's not always good that you are a people pleaser. It just means that you just have a giving heart. And for those that have a giving heart, like just loves to like, of course, uh, give and like uh, be able to see others, like just have like the things that they have. Um, even if they have so little, even if you have so little, you still have something to give. And at first I thought it was bad because I would be taken advantage of for for my kindness and stuff. So I thought that maybe I should just like change that up. But you know what? Now I'm more accepting of the way I was and the way I am because not only that I give, but I also have the wisdom to not give to the point that it makes me miserable instead. So you don't have to give in regards to like giving all and you don't have nothing but also give with a sense of wisdom that you still have something left and then like not be taken advantage of. And if you do happen to give to somebody that is a taker, then basically you understand that, hey, you given that uh, part of you or whatever exchange as a, a donation and then just keep on moving forward. You can set that boundary that I will never give it to you in that same level again. So yeah, people pleasing is not always bad. It's not always good either. But you know what? You'll understand once you know that the people that you are pleasing will either show you two things, well, one or two things, that there are givers and that there are takers. And even in relationships, and family dynamics or whatever, like it will show you. So be around people that are also givers just like you are. Blessings.